am a physician and um, I was diagnosed with a rare form of muscular dystrophy called hypokalemic periodic paralysis. Uh, the diagnosis was made in 2014, um, but it was quite late diagnosis um, because it doesn't run in my family, so I had uh, no suspicions. Um, I had symptoms that I assumed were stress-related or related to other diagnoses that had come up um, prior to this one. Um, so by the time we discovered this diagnosis, I had lost significant amount of muscle mass um, to the point that I was falling on a daily basis uh, because of the atrophy in my legs and I was requiring oxygen because of the atrophy of the muscles of my diaphragm and chest. So um, I was not in good shape once we figured that out. And it required several muscle biopsies and a number of genetic tests before mm -hmm. we narrowed it down. In 2014, I was 45 when I was first diagnosed with muscular dystrophy. But the symptoms had started uh, in my teens and my early 20s. We just didn't ever think about it. I was treated for <clears throat> thyroid disorder and then a liver disease, a, another rare disease. And we were assuming that the muscle symptoms were coming from first the thyroid disease, which was an autoimmune thyroid disease, and then a liver disease. Um, but once those two were treated and stabilized, the muscle symptoms were actually getting worse, which is what prompted us to move forward and do the muscle biopsies and the genetic testing and then got the final diagnosis. So I found out about Stem Cells of America through research online. Stem cells were something that I had obviously known about but um, being Western trained I was quite hesitant. I was um, very cautious about it. But as we moved forward and spoke um, with the doctors here and the, did our research, my husband and I, um, we realized this was worth a shot. Western medicine has no treatments for uh, such a late stage of this disease. So, um, yeah, so came in in 2014 for my very first treatment once we knew what was going on. So the results of the treatment <coughs> were um, the very first treatment, within about two weeks, I said something like, someone put air in the room. It felt like I could breathe again, which was my way of describing being able to breathe uh, more comfortably. And um, within a few months, I stopped falling, which was happening on a daily basis. My description of it was, it feels like my legs are coming under me, which hadn't happened for years. It felt like my legs were gone for years prior to that. And um, that was just within the first six months of the first treatment. I have had uh, incredible results. My quality of life um, back in 2014 was at about four active hours per day. Otherwise, the 20 hours were spent um, sleeping at 12 hours, napping twice a day for several hours, and then staying in bed because of the weakness and the fatigue. And I am at um, well, probably sleeping about eight hours a day now, and for the most part, not requiring naps or resting. So what used to take me, you know, two hours to take a shower and get dressed, now is a you know, matter of half an hour. And grocery shopping and running errands and things like that, um, you know, I could only accomplish one errand a day back then and that would really consume all my 
energy and time for the day and now I am able to you know run errands all day long. The other physical symptoms that have improved I was having difficulty swallowing that has resolved um, I was having some incontinence issues due to pelvic muscle pelvic floor muscle um, atrophy and that has resolved um, brain fog was another issue I think uh, we're f if you're familiar with inflammation that's usually what's causing quite a bit of brain fog and um, I have more clarity than I've had in years I couldn't even think clearly to pay bills you know so I was quite non-functional and I am back to a functional mom even writing a book um, so I got I get to live again I would love for people to know that this is a very safe treatment that I had so many trepidations as a USC and UCLA trained physician who um, really doesn't do alternative medicine um, to really look into this but um, in retrospect I, I truly wish this was available for our patients, my patients.